Guys, I completely understand that it's taken forever to level up your weapons in X-Define. The grind for attachments and maxed out guns in this game feels like a never-ending grind, am I right? Well, good thing I did the math and I ran the numbers, because in this video, I've got some great tips to legitimately speed up your weapon XP gains. Whether you're going for just the gold camos or want to level that playing field and get some attachments, these tactics will cut your leveling time in half. No more getting demolished by fully kitted ACR tryhards. Drop a like and let's get after it. YouTube, my name is Eclipse, and welcome back to another X Define video. In this video, we're going over the fastest way to level up your weapons. I think I have five guns already past level 50. I'm going for the M16 right now, and that'll be number six. We're almost halfway through it already. So in this game, everybody's complaining that it takes so long to level up your weapons. And guys, if you do the math, it does not take that long. Okay, so first, let's go over the weapon leveling system in X Define. So every single primary weapon... Each level, it takes 3,500 XP to level up your weapon. Each secondary weapon, it takes 1,500 XP per weapon level. And every time you get a kill in this game, it is 100 XP. So it is a maximum 35 kills per weapon level for each primary and 15 kills per each level for every single secondary weapon in the game. If you guys are struggling in this game, make sure to check out my top tips every new player must know video. It'll be pinned in the comments down below. It'll really help you guys and I think you will enjoy it. So while it might seem like a lot that you need to do to get your weapon level to level 100 or even level 50, there is easier ways to get it done that are just not kills luckily. If you just needed kills, we would be here for days for one weapon. So let's get right into the easiest ways to do this. So that would be playing, pretty much playing the objective every game you play so for domination guys it's 300 xp per full capture 25 xp per second on each flag for escort it's 25 xp per second while you're escorting the package and 100 xp per retreat so every time the package gets that retreat animation while it's going backwards while you're defending you get 100 xp there is no xp per second while it is retreating it's just that 100 xp Occupy, or what we like to call hard point, will be 5 XP per second on the hard point. There is no multiplier, but if you're on the hard point for the whole game, that XP could really stack up. And for Hasha or Kill Confirmed, it is 50 XP per bounty that you pick up and 10 XP per 5 seconds as the Hotshot. So if you stay the Hotshot the whole game, guys, and you're picking up those bounties, you'll level up your weapon a few times per game on Hotshot. And all the per second XP multipliers, there is no cap to those. So on Domination, it's 25 XP per second. If you just sit on the beef, I can go back and forth the whole game with the team. You're going to be doing great. If you're on hard point and you're 5 XP per second, if you play every single second on the hard point of the game, which I know is impossible, but if you're on the hard point for all 250 points of your team's score, you're going to be flying through the weapon ranks because there is no cap in game. So moving on to the next thing, guys, it's not just playing the objectives that will get you XP. Using your, a certain faction in the game will also grant you a certain amount of XP. So using the Libertad faction, you will get 10 to 50 XP per healing assist, depending on how long you heal them. If they have one health and you heal them all the way back up to 100, you'll get 50 XP for that. If they have 70 health and you heal them back up, you'll probably get anywhere from 10 to 20 XP. Using the Phantoms faction, it is 50 XP per shield damage block, which I don't know how many bullets it exactly takes to get a shield damage block. Anywhere probably from 5 to 10, it seems like. But every time the enemy is shooting at your shield, you can get up to 50 XP per shield damage block, which I think goes up to a maximum 200 if you do get the shield block big orange icon that pops up on your screen. Okay, so moving on to just regular gameplay features that we will all get while just playing the game. These are pretty much like the same thing as medals from Call of Duty. If you know when you go on a kill streak or if you get a bloodthirsty medal in Call of Duty, it's pretty much like that. These grant weapon XP in this game. So for the first one, every time you get a three kill streak, you'll get 200 XP. Every time you get the assists medal to pop up, you'll get another 200 XP. For a point blank medal, it is 50 XP. For the headshots medal, it'll 200 XP. And I don't know how many headshots it takes for that medal to pop up, because it's not every single headshot that it pops up, but it might be every three or every five headshots that it does pop up. Moving on to the demolisher. So when you do destroy somebody's mag shield or somebody's big um, barrier that they have while using the phantoms, you get 200 XP. For a multi-kill, you get 50 XP. And for just objective play for the medal, you get another 200 XP. 
So very simply, while most of this does just come down to actually just playing the game and having a good time while playing it with either yourself or your friends or whatever, you have to be able to consciously capitalize on these certain XP gains. So most importantly, playing something like Hotshot, knowing that don't skip over picking up those tags. I don't care if you're playing the objective or not. Do it for yourself. Do it to get that uh, 50 XP while you're the Hotshot picking up a bounty. Don't just go hide in a corner when you're the Hotshot. Also, while playing Hotshot, you're doing it wrong. Every time you pick up a bounty, it gives your team three extra points. So it's not just to be the hotshot to go hide in a corner. Play the objective. While you will help your team win the game, you will also help yourself by getting more weapon XP. Playing domination. If the B flag, if the enemies have the B flag and you see it's wide open, hop on it. Even if you don't cap the whole entire flag, you'll still get 25 XP per second of being on the flag. So what I recommend you to do, if you are playing as a solo player, Go onto your custom playlist and just select Hotshot because I believe as a solo player that will be the fastest way for you to level up your weapons. But if you have a party of, I would say, three or more, if you're playing with the, just one other friend and just two of you, you could still play Hotshot because you're all in Hotshot going for the same objective, which will be just picking up tags. And while those games do last roughly five to eight minutes, I would say, if you have too many people on your team getting too many kills besides you, it will hurt you in the long run because eventually you're going to hit that max score with your team all picking up 30 tags each. And if you are a team of three or more, I would say play Domination probably, because 25 XP per second, if they cap the A flag, just run around them, go cap it. Or if they cap the B flag, go cap it as a team, whatever, and it will even out your XP gains exponentially, even more than just playing Hotshot as a team. As well, if you're playing with a team, play Escort, because you guys could easily just mow down the enemy team and just Take that escort all the way down to the finish line without an issue if their team isn't very good. Just take it down, hop on the escort, and just keep going. It's very linear game mode, so it's very easy to just know where the enemies are coming from. Get those kills, and while you're on the escort package, it's going to be 25 XP per second. So all six of you can be escorting it at once, and all six of you will all be getting 25 XP per second separately. Okay, so kind of a last but not least type of thing, guys. Make sure you activate your weapon boosters if you are going for a certain gun. Say you absolutely want to get this M16 to level 50 as fast as possible, and you know you're going to be using the M16 in the future. Activate the weapon XP boosters. I wouldn't say waste them on, like, say if you're messing around, running around with a shotgun, and you're not going to ever really use that shotgun in the future. Don't waste it on that. Use them on a gun you know you will be using. Make sure to keep out on X or Twitter, or even Reddit for that matter. Check when there's a uh, double weapon XP weekend or week or whatever they're going to be doing in this game. There just was one for Memorial Day weekend and launch weekend in the game. And I absolutely took a full advantage of it. And in this game, if you have the boosters plus double weapon XP, they do stack in this game on my Call of Duty. So two times and then the two times, you'll be getting four times weapon XP if you do activate the boosters during double weapon XP weekend. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it. Here is the tips video that I spoke about earlier. And if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. I've been Eclipse. Peace out.